Hi and welcome. In order to use the iPhone 15 Pro to record Apple ProRes 4K at 60 frames a second, we need to go to the settings. In the settings, we have to scroll down to camera. In the camera, we click on record video and in there, we make sure to select 4K at 60 frames per second. We also have the chance here to scroll down to HDR video and enable HDR video if we want to record in 10-bit color. Back in the camera settings, we can then select formats, scroll down to Apple ProRes and enable Apple ProRes. And in here, we also have the ability to change the ProRes encoding settings. Here we have HDR, SDR, and lock, high dynamic range, standard dynamic range, and lock. In my case, I am selecting HDR, high dynamic range. We can now go back and open the camera app. In here, we can verify that we are indeed selected 4K and 60, but over at ProRes, we see that it's currently crossed out. If we try to enable it, we will get the notification that ProRes at 4K 60 frames a second is not supported on this device. Now is the moment where we need an external SSD, which can be connected via USB-C, as well as a USB-C cable. In my case, I am using the included USB-C charging cable, which came with the iPhone 15 Pro. So let's connect the external SSD to the iPhone with the USB-C cable. Once we have connected the SSD to the phone, we can acknowledge this message and try again. And this time it's working. We can now record ProRes HDR at 4K 60 onto the external SSD. The USB-C at the bottom is indicating that we are directly recording to the SSD. At the top, we also get an estimate on how long we can record to the SSD before the SSD is full. So let's create a short test video and hit record and hit stop recording. If we are going to the file app, we see that there is a new location, which is the SSD. And on the SSD, we see that there is a new folder, which is called DCIM. And in there is an Apple folder in which all the Apple ProRes 4K60 videos are saved. Getting those videos onto your MacBook or computer is as simple as connecting the SSD to your MacBook or computer and simply offloading the footage from there. Depending on your SSD, you might be able to directly edit the footage from your SSD. If you're looking for an elegant solution how to mount the SSD to your iPhone, check out the video which is now in the info card. If this video helped you, let me know by writing a comment. And if you like to see more content like this, consider subscribing. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox, and we just learned how to use an iPhone 15 Pro to record Apple ProRes at 4K 60 frames a second directly onto an SSD. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.